Now I want to talk about ternary statements. Uh, a ternary statement is an alternative to an if statement. In this basic example here, I've got uh, an if-else statement. I'm comparing the values of the variables first and last. And as you can see here, first is true, last is false. Those two should never be the same thing. So if I run that in my console, you can see, console log, I get the statement, you're only last if you're not first. So, using node to run this, I get my console log statement, and I can see that the false portion of the if else statement is going to run. Now, if you are writing an if else statement, and you want to save a little bit of typing, um, you can use the ternary statement. And its basic syntax is like this. Inside the parentheses here, we place our statement that we want to compare. Now, I don't need the parentheses here. I can just write the statement. I just put it there as a placeholder for now. Whatever I put in here, this is the code that's going to run if this value is true. So it's like you're asking a question. Figure this out, computer. And if it's true, this part runs. And if it's false, this part runs. So we could do the exact same thing that we did above. So compare first and last. And if it's true, nope. And if it's false, yep. There we go. So there's my ternary statement. I'm going to run it over here again using node. There we go. You can see I get the yep, which is the second one. So same statement. It's just a little bit abbreviated. If you only have one thing to do, so there's just one statement inside here, the console log. Um, this can be any one statement. But if there's just one to do for either case, and it's a simple question, this is just a little bit more abbreviated way of writing this. Um, you can even nest one inside the other, just like up in here. If I was to, uh, well, I won't use this because that's not going to come out, but I'll use this side. So if age, I know that's going to come out. I know that's going to be true because the age is not zero. There we go. I'll do that run it again. There we go. There's my statement. There's the 45, which is my value age, and then my yep right there. Now, if you're wondering here, I just use the arrow up to repeat my last command. Arrow up and then hit enter. It's a quick way to do things on the terminal. We can embed statements inside here as well. So I could say inside here. Age. If it is, console log, yep. Else. There we go. Save it. Run it again. And there we go. I got the yep showing up. So here is my question that I'm asking. My first question was first equals last? No, it doesn't. So it's going to come to the colon and then look at the second question. Age. Is age true or false? Well, it's not zero, so it's true. That was my question. And then here's my true and my false value. If I expand this, there we go. It fits all on one line. That's a ternary statement. So just a simple alternative to using an if statement. If you've got a simple question to, to run, and there's only one command for the yes, one command for the no, one for the true, one for the false. Ternary might be something that you can get used to using to save yourself a little bit of time, a little bit of typing.